Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing on this beautiful day or maybe it's a rainy day or a snowy day? I mean whenever you're watching this video. Uh, I'm putting the time reference uh, like always you can check in the comments or description to access directly. So I'm back with another T5 and LED combo. This time it's with the Aqua Illumination Prime 16 HD. I believe it's their uh, third generation. Uh, they had like the Prime then it was the Prime HD and now we are Hey, my cat, stop. And, my, and now we have the Prime 16 HD. Sorry about that, my cat wants always to be uh, the star of the show. Hey, stop. So I bought this light a long time ago. I actually sold my Prime HD to get this one, but I never did any video about it. So I guess it's time to make one. The AI Prime 16 HD is a popular light amongst reefers, especially in North America, since it's a US product with a China manufacturer. And one of the main reasons of its popularity is of course having a price lower than other premium light uh, like the Kessel A360 series, uh, the Ecotec Marine Radeon. So the more a light is cheaper, the more it's going to be popular to a certain extent. For reference, the Radeon G5 XR15 costs 420 US dollars, the Kessel A360X $450, the Red Sea Reef LED 50 which I think is the main competitor with uh, this light is $220 and finally the Prime 16 HD is at $210 so you can see uh, there's like a gap of price and uh, keep in mind that all those uh, spotlight have all different interesting features and fit different needs for different people when I compare this light with others, the main difference is the number of LED and their variety. It have less but still provide a big power number. It might contain less varieties but the spectrum they use for this light is on point. It also have a narrow coverage area which could benefit for a crayon with a deeper tank. Of course, the main goal with this light is to have the right power number with the biggest coverage with the right spectrum. So there is always a trade off when it comes to make a, a light affordable for general consumer. Because it's narrow and a limited range of spectrum, those T5 greatly uh, help the weakness of this reef LED. T5 will cover the light where the prime cast shadow. You will see later on the video my two T5 combination recommendation. By the way, if you want to use the Aquatic Life Hybrid Fisher and want to use the Prime 16 HD, you need to buy the hanging bracket which is sold separately by Aqua Elimination. I didn't have it, so I improvised a temporary solution for making this video. Now if you have previously seen my video with other T5 difference with the Radeon Blue and Pro, you probably noticed that my visual on this video is a little bit brighter, especially when you look at the sun, it's a little bit uh, overexposed. So what happened is like I decided to put the auto ISO on my camera for all the guide that I'm making. But sometimes the camera can act a little bit differently and don't understand the correct exposure. So unfortunately I noticed uh, this after when I started to edit this video. So sorry in advance. Because it have a less LED, it's of course a little bit dimmer compared like the, the Radeon G5 which was my point of reference to make all this kind of guide. I've been asked previously why I put the light at 20% of intensity for all the light. It's basically because I want to show the, the color of the T5 and the difference. So if I put the light at 100%, it's really hard to tell the difference between each T5. Since this light is more dim overall, it's one of the biggest video combo where you can see the T5 difference clearly. Eventually I will make the T5 video only, but I'm not ready yet for that. On the side note, the bar number that you see on the bottom left part of the screen is only to show you the difference between each T5 and combo. So don't use that number directly, but it's just to give you an idea. In the future, I would like to buy a spectrometer, but it will cost me way over 3000 Canadian dollars. I want to do it for the Aquarium community because I think it's really important to have an independent source of information on YouTube. I've been really obsessed with this idea for a long time and it's on the list of my goal that I would like to achieve. If you want to contribute or simply want to help, I started our Patreon page and I will put the link down below. On all the close shots that I did with the Blasso Musa Merleti, I don't know if you have noticed but you can see on the left part, on the upper part also, there you can see the light from the Prime 16 HD, but on the right part 
the koala is in the shadow so it's a little bit half an accident but i wanted to show you like a demonstration of what the t5 can bring when you have like a spotlight that cast shadow and i think it's a really good demonstration or example where you can see the how the t5 can help to cover a larger area for your aquarium so having a hybrid lighting system is always good the ld plus t5 for me is a really good combo but I would say that the metal highlight is still the biggest light for growing the crawl if that is your purpose. Of course the problem with that is the heat and the power consumption. There is something I really like about the AI Prime 6 in HD is the shimmer it gave to my tank. It's a kind of like a nice balance of shimmer, not, not too aggressive, not too soft and I really like that. Of course we all know that the Kessel light are the king of the shimmer and the radian are a little bit flat. The prime is like right in the middle, which is a really nice balance in my opinion. I have a love-hate relation with the shimmer. When you see your tank far away with your eyes extra, it's, it's kind of nice. But when you film something with a, like a micro or a close-up shot for YouTube, it can be super irritating to see all the shimmer goes, going back and forth. So having a nice balance is really cool and you don't need any diffuser for that. The reason I initially bought this light, it was for my frag tank. I made a video on how to build a simple aquarium frag tank, but the reality is I still don't uh, really use this. I don't have coals in my frag tank right now. Some people could say that I have like nice uh, algae on the glass. I do like this light. My only concern is when you use the intensity at 100% and the fan kick in. It's super noisy. And my second complaint is the lack of on-off button on the application. Sometimes I just want to do something in my tank without having the light on, but my only way is to disconnect physically the power. When I got back in the briefing, the Prime HD was actually the first light that I bought, and I was really pleased with it, but there was like one problem that I really disliked, and I never really tested correctly for this aquarium, but the, the problem that I had is the disco effect and eventually I just switched to the Kessel A36WE and all the disco went uh, away. And because my frag tank doesn't contain any sand, uh, I can't really tell if there's disco effect. It's, it's really hard so it doesn't really bother me. Alright, so now that you have seen all the T5 combination combo, it's I think time to do my recommendation. So my option number one is the Super Acnic and the Acne Blue. So the reason why I took this option is because the Super Acnic fill a gap of spectrum and you can see all the my recommendations, I always put that bulbs because it filled that gap and I think they, it will benefit the corals. And for the first time, I actually recommend using the Acne Blue. Even if the AI Prime 16 HD use that kind of spectrum, I think you can just fill that uh, gap where the spotlight doesn't provide. So those two bulbs alone are already good enough for the cobalt. And now for the option number two is the Super Acnic and the Super Purple, which is a classic with all my recommendation. And there's a reason why. It's always because of the Super Acnic filled a gap and I'm a little bit a fan of the purple. But don't be fooled by the purple. It's the, that bulbs actually really have a lot of blue in it. It's mostly blue, but there's like a green, a little bit of a like red, which gives that impression of the purple. Those spectrum also help a little bit the corals also. So, and I think it's a really beautiful combo. So that's the reason why I recommend to other people that combo. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.